Okay, now that we have everything set up and refactored, let's start building in the ability to edit. So let's create another describe block and say edit. Okay, and here I'm, I'm not going to do any before blocks quite yet, just because I like to save that for a refactor step. And I'm going to insta instead say we want to be able to edit posts and we want to be able to do it first by visiting the page, but eventually we want to do it actually by ed clicking edit on the page itself. So uh, let's start by doing the full end-to-end -end solution and work through building that. So it can be, let's see, it can be reached by clicking edit on index page. Okay, so we're going to first want, we want to visit the edit page, but before we can do that, we're going to have to create a post. So we're going to be logged in, but we don't have any post created. So let's do that. And I don't think we're going to be able to do build stubbed. I'm pretty sure we need to actually touch the database. But let's just say post factory girl create and post. Then we'll say visit post path. So that's going to take us post index path. And then we're going to say click on edit and then expect page. Uh, start off with an easy test to oop, dot to equal 200. Okay, that's pretty much as easy of a test as I think we'd want to do. So what this will essentially test for is saying, is there going to be a button on the, and I already think of something, I think I messed up on this. Uh, I'm going to say, I was going to say a button on the page where you can click edit. And the fact that this worked is a bad thing. Oh yeah, so we want this, this is a dumb test. Uh, let's see, click on link. So let me go to the document, the Capybara documentation. Capybara, click on link. There we go. I like, the, as you can tell, I've been here before. Uh, so I want to, there, there we go. So I want to click link. And so I want to click link and you can pass in the link text or the ID. Um, let's see what I want to do with this. Let's first say click on, and it is, it just click link and pass in edit and then run it. But what I am going to do, I'm going to refactor this because eventually we probably don't want this to actually uh, to take us to a, uh, or we don't want this to be a link like with the text edit. We'll eventually want this to be a button. So uh, let's see, click link. This should be, I don't know why this isn't throwing an error. Let me look at the documentation again. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Let me, let's actually do this a little bit backwards. Whenever I come across something where I'm not getting the test behavior that I want, what I'll usually do is I'll start building it first and then I'll build the test to match the behavior. It's a little bit backwards, but it saves some time. Okay, and if I don't know the right way to write the test, then what's the point in wasting time in trying to do it? Okay, let's go first to the index. And I'm going to just do TH. We're gonna have an empty one right here, and then I'll go to post. And here I'm gonna have a TD, and let's start off with a link to and we'll say edit, and then it'll be edit post path, and we'll pass in the post. Okay, now 
this is not going to work, but we'll let the air do it. Okay, so right here, this this part of it did work. So if I click that, it doesn't have a path to go to. Um, but this part of it actually did work. So let's see. Okay, now that we have this, now let's go back and look at our test. Not this one, this one. Okay, so now we're saying go and click the link edit and expect that to equal that. So now I'm going to hit RSpec and see if now we can get to a failing test. There we go, okay. So this is what I wanted to happen. The problem was before it found that, or even if it found this link, if the link didn't do anything or found something else on the page called edit, it clicked it, the status code was still 200 because nothing happened. But by actually putting in the implementation code to kind of get it started, now it's finding edit and it's giving a error message. So this isn't working, which is actually good. Now let's refactor this test really quick because there's one thing I don't like about it. So if I come here and click inspect, let's see what we have. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So it's not passing in. What we need to do is actually pass an ID into it. So inside of our post, let's pass in an ID here and we'll just pass in the, let's see, we'll do some string interpolation. So let's I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. Okay, give me one second. I'm trying to see if, yeah, this should work. I just want to make sure that having double quotes nested isn't going to break it, but I think this should work. Okay, so I want to have edit underscore and then have whatever the post ID is. There we go. Theoretically, this should work. So I, I started the server. Let's see this now. Okay, okay, perfect. So yeah, this is working. So notice now how we have an ID right here where it's edit to. Now, if I come and click inspect here, now we have edit ID four. So that is good. So now we can refactor our posts back here. And you notice how it was, it said click on link and the documentation said we could pass it to edit. But the problem with doing that is it's really fragile. Because what if there's anything else on the page that says edit, it's going to just click on the first one it finds. But one of the other options is you can do the ID of the link. And with this, I'm not sure if this is gonna work because right now we're passing the ID to, uh, we're passing the ID to the, there you go we're passing it here. We may have to create an, an ID inside of the link itself. But before I do that, let's just see if this works. So it's going to be, first we have to do double quotes because we're gonna do string interpolation. And I'm going to say edit underscore that and post.id, okay. And now if I hit our spec, we'll see if this, I mean, it's not gonna pass, but let's make let's see if it finds the link. Okay, yeah, can't find that link, which is fine. That's kind of what I was thought was gonna happen. So that's actually fine. We can get rid of this, because I had some in the back of my mind that didn't really like that anyway. And we'll say, pass this in as an option. And now let's try it again. Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, so now it's finding it. And the great thing about this is what happens if we say, okay, at the end of this, we want to change this to a button or even an icon, which an icon is probably what we'll end up doing. If we did that and we had edit as what our expectation was, it was actually going to break. But here, because we're looking for an ID, this will always remain the same, whether it's a button, an icon, or if we keep the link. So that that's all good. So I'm happy with that. That's following best practices much better. Uh, let's see. Okay, next on the list, let's look and see what we need to do. Okay, so next thing that we have is let's open up our controller. So post controller. We don't have an edit action. So I usually do my new and create. I usually keep them together. And now I'm going to do edit. And we need to not only create edit, but we also have to add it to our before action because we need to have it look for the ID. So I'm going to pass that in. And I'm also going to create a template. So we know that we have posts. And so we have edit.html.erb. And this should actually be enough to get the entire test passing. There we go. OK, so now we're good. That's a pretty basic test. All that's doing is checking to see that you can click the link and it goes successfully to a page, any page, which isn't really uh, ideal, obviously. So it can be reached by clicking edit. But now let's go ahead and take this a step further. So it can be edited. So I know that's a little bit generic, but for right now, I think it's fine. So now I'm going to, let's create a before action because we want to create a post. Let's cut this out, put in an instance variable. You're probably already used to doing this now. And now we don't even need to add it anywhere. Oh yeah, we do right here. And now it can be edited. So we need to visit the edit post path. And we're going to pass it post. So it can be edited. Let me, I'm going to do a really in, quick in between test right here just to make sure that I don't have to pass a post ID. This isn't the test itself. This is just making sure that we can visit it through that page, and we can. OK, so I'm going to get rid of that. OK, so now what we want to do is actually edit it, which is similar to creation. So I'm going to simply take some of this content up here. And this is where it is fine to copy and paste it, because here we're going to essentially just be checking. I'm going to say edited content and edited content. OK, so what this is doing is it's, it's expecting a form to be here. It's going to fill in the data, and then it's going to hit Save. And then it's going to expect to be given a page with the new content. So now if we switch back to the terminal, this is going to break. And it's going to tell us why, because it, it's going to tell us there's no form, which is fine. OK, unable to find field post state. So all that's good. Let's come up and just get the most basic kind of code working. We have our new, and we have our uh, edit. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in. And do not worry uh, if your if little bells are going off in your head saying this is a bad way of doing it, you're right. Remember that our first goal is to get our test passing, and then we go back and refactor it to follow best practices. So that worked. It found the form. It found the fields. Everything there is working. Now let's go and build in our update action. So we have edit and def update. And we want to make sure to add update up here so that it's set. 
and let's see, I believe the basic way we're going to be able to do it is, uh, let's see, I'm going to be able to do, we already have our post, so I'm pretty sure I can just do post.update and then pass in post params. Let's see if this works. And yes, we are also going to refactor the update process as well. Okay, and now missing template. So everything's going ahead nicely. It can't find the template because we need to redirect them just like this. So we can take this code right here, paste it in, and it's going to tell us that it can't find the show action now. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, I was forgetting that I already implemented the show action. So yeah, that's good. Everything's working. So now all of this is processing properly. Let's go back and refactor it. I'm going to start off with refactoring this. And so I'm going to say if post update. So it's going to check and see this. And it's going to simply put it in just like that. And then I'm going to say else render edit and let's see if that is the correct way to implement update and put some additional validations okay everything there is good now let's come back and uh, if this is bothering you that our new and edit forms are identical then you are of the right mindset because we should be using a form partial here so I'm going to create something called partial, pass it in, and now we have our code here. And then we can get rid of the content in new and edit. And in both, we can just do something like this. I can do an H1 that says edit, and then simply call ren oh, render form and then save same thing on new and save run it again and see if everything's still working nope nope we broke a couple things let's see what is going on with that it looks like it cannot find the form interesting Okay. Oh, I think it's because I didn't save. That would probably have something to do with it. Sometimes it's the little things. Okay, there you go. So that's all working. Let's go test it out in the browser. I'll keep my Capybara cheat sheet up because I go to it quite often when I'm building apps. Let's hit refresh and it looks like we're all good. This is ID2. If I click edit, you can see it brings in our content just like it's supposed to. And if I change this to the 12th and I say some major reason, hit save. That all worked. Took the show page. If I click back on time entries and scroll all the way down, uh, let's see, where is our some major reason? That did that not work? Oh, never mind. Here it is. Okay. And we're going to fix the sorting. It, it has a weird mechanism for sorting right now, but I'm not worried about it because we're going to completely redo the sorting. But yeah, that works. So it saved the content. Everything there is good. If I click on new, that is there as well. Uh, and in the next video, I'm going to make it a super quick video because I know we've had a few long ones. And I'm going to just create a button where you can, where the users will be able to go and create a new one. So I'll see you then. Oh, wait, I actually stopped myself. I caught myself. Hold on. I am going to commit. Get add commit, implemented, edit, and update functionality. Perfect. Okay, in the next video now <laughs> that I've committed, uh, we're going to go in and add that edit function. So I'll see you then.